Awira. And I'll proceed from where Melania senior Mr. Ndego has left. Honorable Speaker, as I was preparing to make this statement, I found myself pondering about this third impeachment process that is before you. And the question that came to my mind is, is it merely for the joy of doing it? Is it merely for the joy of it that the County Assembly of Meru is before you for that time? Is it merely for the joy of it? Honorable Senators, clearly and logically, there is a problem. And the County Assembly of Meru has diagnosed that problem. The County Assembly of Meru is beseeching you to find a remedy, to find a cure to this problem. Meru is ailing, and this house as a proper medication to this problem. We are going to demonstrate, Honorable Speaker, through various testimonies and exhibits that we have already filed, that there is a serious breakdown of governance in Meru. How is the Meru County Assembly expected to function if its oversight function has been crippled by the executive? How is the Meru County Assembly expected to exercise its oversight troll if summons, statements, and, the, and resolutions of the County Assembly, even recommendations, are ignored and disregarded by the County Executive under the watchful eye, cover, and protection of the Governor? The County Assembly summons witnesses to appear before it, or members of the Executive, they cannot, do not heed such summons. What redress is the county assembly left with other than coming before you? This, this house is a protector of devolution and we beseech you to protect devolution that is on its deathbed in Meru. Person to Article 73, it should be exercised in a manner that promotes confidence, public confidence in the integrity of that office and it should bring honor and dignity to that office, it should equally demonstrate respect for the people. We are going to play video evidence before you of some utterances by the governor that are not only insensitive, but they do not demonstrate, they actually fall short of the constitutional requirement that a governor in his or her conduct should demonstrate respect for the people. All these allegations, Honorable Speaker, fall within Chapter 6 of the Constitution and specifically Article 75, which provides that any person who is involved in conduct that falls short of the constitutional requirements may be dismissed or, rem or otherwise removed from office. So this is not a novelty or this is not an invention of the County Assembly. This is the Constitution. The Constitution says that such conduct is not only to be rebuked or to be condemned, but it is conduct that amounts to grounds for removal from office. Honorable Speaker, the governor will take, of course, the underlying tone of the governor's response, and that is the posture that she will take when she takes the stand, is that she's a victim, a victim of misogyny, a victim of male chauvinism, a victim of you know, toxic masculinity, and all these other gender attacks against her. And even in her own response, and even in her response, she says that she's a woman governor, and we appreciate that. It is the people of Meru who elected her, including the men in Meru County. Some of them are even here. Some others are members of the assembly. But is gender a shield? Should your gender be a cover that you cannot be held account because you're male or you're female? Is that it, Honorable Speaker? As a panel of Honorable Speaker, is it the issue of the threshold for impeachment? And the Supreme Court has had occasion in the Sonko case to state 
with precision the threshold requirement for impeachment proceedings. And the Supreme Court has stated, Honorable Speaker, that the threshold is not the threshold required to prove criminal culpability in criminal cases. It is not the threshold of beyond reasonable doubt. It is the threshold of above a balance of probability, but, be, but below reasonable doubt. So therefore, that intermediate standard of proof, Honorable Speaker, through the various exhibits and testimonies that we are going to play before you and present before you, is a threshold that would not only be met, but the county assembly will equally discharge the burden on its part in, in line with that interpretation by the Supreme Court.